All right, y'all. I've made this. My mama used to make this, and her sister used to make this. Uh, I've, I don't know that I've ever made it. It's macaroni, ham, onions, stewed tomatoes. I'm going to put breadcrumbs on it and put it in the oven, and that's what we're going to have for supper tonight. So I'll show you when it comes out of the oven, but it don't look really good right this minute. But I remember, I mean, if I've done it anywhere near right, I want to put some mozzarella cheese in there too. I used the Gouda macaroni and cheese, whatever, but then I added some mozzarella, ham, onion, stewed tomatoes, breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, and I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'll show you when it comes out. This is it out of the oven, y'all. It smells really good, so we're about to give it a try and see what it tastes like. All right, guys. Oops, I'm trying to fog my camera up. Here it is plate it up. It smells really good. I haven't tasted it yet. I'll put it across the bottom of the screen if we like it. But mm. yeah. What'd you think, Clay? Mm. Very good. Clay says very good. Yeah. Y'all, I ordered us a sample box of freeze-dried candy. I ordered the one that had I don't remember, I must have ordered the one that had four samples, or maybe I ordered six. But these have, these four have labels, and these don't, which is what makes me think I ordered a, I don't know what I ordered. Anyway, it's from Sweet Sam's Candy. This was like $25, I don't know. But I think these are gummy worms. There's only two in there, which... If she sent it to me for free, thank you. I'm not complaining, but there's only two in there. But um, this, I think, are maybe like peach rings or cherry, mm, I don't know what they are. I wish, you know, it had some kind of label on it. This is mini sweet tarts, I mean, mini sour starburst, and that bag is really full. And this is uh, sweet tart bites. I don't even know what those are. That bag is really full too. And then this is what I ordered it for. Not this one exactly, but this is sour Skittles. And this is regular Skittles. That's what I ordered it for was the Skittles. And then she sent this, I say it's a she, it could be a he, I don't know. But uh, like a little magnet. I don't, I don't know what it says. Oh no, there's some other stuff in there too, like some stickers and some little plastic things, you know. Isn't that sweet as like a little gift? But um, I'm gonna see if I can get Clay to try it with me and we'll try it on camera and, and let y'all know what we think. Y'all, I also meant to show this in the video this week and I forgot. Look at these 4th of July flowers. I just picked them up at Walmart and then I arranged them myself. But look at this, this is those leaves. It didn't come off on you. Um, yeah, it's just the green reed, but it's been like spray painted or something. It's so cute. I love flowers. I try to always keep uh, fresh flowers on the bar because it just makes me feel better. But yeah, aren't those pretty? Just so pretty. Yeah. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Do you see how red I am, y'all? My car says it's 96 degrees. The, uh, Heat index says it's 103. Y'all, it is 210 and it's hot. I'm in a, I'm not in a good mood because it's hot. But we were in Walmart just now checking out. I always use the self checkout. Well, I, I try to always use the self checkout. If I've got a ton of stuff, I'll just go through a line. But if I don't have a ton of stuff, I do it myself. I mean, Clay do it. Clay loves to do it, so I'd like to let him do it. And, uh, oops, I said, open this door, woman, it's hot. Sorry, man, I didn't know it was locked. It's all right. Anyway, we was going through the self-checkout, and Clay was checking our groceries. So, while Clay was checking, I was people watching. <laughs> there was this man at another self-checkout throwing, let me get Clay in here, throwing a wall-eyed fit and when I tell you that man was throwing a walleye fit like he got everybody's attention because he was throwing a fit and I so I was watching what the hell's he throwing a fit about he was like he had some money he had there was some money well like he had 
like opened his wallet and taken some money out and laid it on the thing. And then he had some money in his hand and he was taking it like one by one going, wham, wham, as he was talking and like slapping it on the, the checkout thing. Well, the lady goes over there, the girl goes over there to see what's the matter with him. Y'all, he had asked, we you know like when you check out, it'll ask you, do you want cash back? Well, undoubtedly he had said, yes, he wanted some cash back and he wanted a hundred dollars. It gave him his hundred dollars in five dollar bills. He was mad as hell that it gave him his hundred back in fives. Who the hell wants all these five dollar bills? And he was slapping the money down as he did it. I, my mouth was hung open. I was like, is this man standing over here throwing a temper tantrum over some five dollar bills? What the hell? The girl said, well, sir, I don't know what to tell you. You can go to the customer service and they'll turn it into a hundred dollar bill. That's what you want. It was, I mean, who thinks at the, at the self checkout, you can, you, you, you like, I don't know how it works. I don't know if it, what determines that it gives you fives or tens or twenties or what. I don't know what determines that. Maybe the machine didn't have any twenties in it. Calm the fuck down, sir. It's hot. I know you're in a bad mood. It's money. It's $5 bills. I don't care. It's still money. Who cares if they're in $5 bills? Who? Listen, I've been known to throw some fits over some stupid shit, but it ain't never been over a $5 bill. It's too hot. That's what it is. It's hot. People are in a bad mood, and he was... He looked like a 65-year-old toddler over there throwing a temper to Diddy Clay. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It is hot, too damn hot to be outside. Walmart, it was a little bit better today. It seemed a little bit cooler in there today. Did it to you? Oh yeah. It wasn't as bad, I wasn't like going, oh, wiping sweat the whole time because, you know, it wasn't, wasn't horrible, it didn't feel like. And if I don't think it's horrible, then it wasn't bad because Look, I sweat like a moose. Like, I don't even know why I say that. Sometimes I say pig. Sometimes I say horse. Sometimes I say moose. I don't know. What sweats a lot? No animal. Does an animal sweat a lot? A horse sweats a lot, don't it? Like, when it's running, it don't matter. I, I say all kinds of stuff, but yes. I, my, like, my mouth is still, and I asked the girl when he, walked, he left to go over to customer service. I said, was he mad that that machine gave him $5 bills? Yep. I said, wow. She said, I know. She said, there was no reason to get that mad over something like that. I said, you're exactly right. There was, I mean, you know, there's times in this life when, you know, getting mad, you know, is justified. Ooh, that's, that was, that was so not even one. I wouldn't have cared if that machine gave me a hundred one dollar bills. It's money. I might have been like, ooh, I've been to the stripper place or you know I look like I've been stripping for money or I don't know I'd have made a joke about it I wouldn't have gotten so mad about it would you have got mad about it Clay mm -hmm. if he gave you a bunch of eyes you'd have been like oh I'm rich huh? <laughs> yeah, right. we, ooh, we rolling <laughs> that was crazy yeah. wow he, he got some other problems going on I bet you know he's I don't know what he's doing. He's got mental problems. He's got mental problems, Clay said. <laughs> You're right. He got some temper tantrum toddler problems. <laughs> Ain't no sense in that. Listen, if that was my husband, I'd have walked onto the car and left him standing there. I'd have been like, you can throw your bit by your damn self. <laughs> I'm not going to stand here with you and watch you throw this dumbass bit. Huh, man? Right. We ain't about that crap. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all. I've thrown some fits. I'm not saying I'm not above it. One time, y'all, we had a, a, a van. We had a, a Dodge van. We had a couple of different Dodge vans. But anyway, uh, I don't know what was wrong with it. it. It was like a piece of shit from the get-go. You know how like you just get a car that just stuff started breaking on it almost immediately. It was so frustrating. And it wasn't like a hundred or $200 job. It would be, it was always a thousand dollars. It was crazy. And uh, I called ahead and said, hey, what kind of, what do I need? I need to, I need this part. Do I need to bring the old part? You know, whatever. Nope, you know. I'm like, all right, you see you in a minute. 
what, uh, what was I going to cite for? Uh, did I, I say I was? Yeah, you had to go on your site. No, I didn't. I'll take you to Sonic. Oh. You want to go to Sonic? I thought you take some to go on your site. I asked if you want to get a haircut. Uh, what do you want from here? Uh, a number one. Okay, let me do it on my phone. Hold on, let me, I'll finish this in a second. Let me order Clay some Sonic. It's easier from my phone. Sonic needs to fix their stuff. I did it on my phone. And normally when you drive up here, you check in to like whichever stall you're at and, and then your name pops up on the board over there. But I did that, my name didn't pop up, so. Man, we'll man, see. Man. It may. That's brutal. It is brutal, Clay. Now my car says it's 98. Um, my phone says it's 91. Your phone's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it is probably a lie. But anyway, I called ahead about that part that we needed. And uh, so we go there. And y'all, the man, I, we, we stand at the counter because, you know, he's on the phone. No big deal. He, he waited on a couple of other people. And then the phone rings. He wasn't on the phone. He waits on a couple of other people. And then the phone rings. And so he's on the phone. And he's on the phone, and he's on the phone, and he's on the phone, which is not a big deal because, um, I mean, you know, you have to take call. When, when you have a job like that, you do several jobs. So I'm waiting. Well, anyway, he turns his back to us, and it's me and like three or four other people waiting. And uh, he's going, Yeah, well, we thought about going down there this weekend. What are y'all going to do? Well, anywho, and, and he kept on saying, Anywho. Well, anywho. And I was like, I looked at this man standing beside me and I was like, is he for real? I mean, I get it taking business calls, but th you can, this is a personal call. I mean, he's talking about what you want to do this weekend. Are y'all going over there? We're not going to, you know, it was bullshit, you know? Yeah. Thank you. No. Thank you. No. You too. Thank you. You're welcome, man. All right. So man, it did work. Man, that was an old text you sent me yesterday. Yeah, but last night I asked you if you wanted oh, to get something. Oh, okay, yeah. I, for some reason, that's what I thought. Yeah, today all I sent you was, do you want to go get a haircut? Oh, okay. I'm, I guess I, when, I guess I was looking at the wrong text. That's okay. No big deal. I've been crying. Anyway, so... We're standing in line, and we waited, and we waited, and we waited for this fool to get off of his personal call. Well, finally, like, the other man standing there was like, he's got to be kidding, right? And so, finally, I said, sir, excuse me, but could we get waited on here? Well, he turns around, and then he's got some attitude, do you hear me? And I was nice about it. I, I wasn't like, get your ass off the damn phone. I just said, hey, sir, could you wait on us? I mean, you know. So, when um, I told him what I needed... He said, well, you have to have the other part. I said, sir, I just called up here and asked if I needed the other part. And I was told no, that I didn't need the other part because we live like 30 miles from, you know, the place. And uh, I can't remember what he popped back with y'all. He popped back with something, y'all. I had on this big denim shirt because I'd been at work all day. And uh, it, it had my school logo on it. My big ass went... I, I was going across the counter to whoop his ass. I was like, sir, I'm not in the mood for you today, especially with all this damn attitude. When you're the one doing the any who and shit on the phone with all of us standing here waiting, well, just so happens Dan was was with me and he caught a hold of the back of my shirt and pulled me back off that counter. I was like, look, no, sir, not today, not today. And anyway, I said, you know what? Can I speak to your manager? I was, I went full on Karen. I was like, let me talk to your manager. This is, this, this ain't, this ain't right, sir. And, um, see, I spoke to the manager and then all got worked out. I didn't have to have, you know, it just, he was, anyway, yeah. So, yeah, there are times when you do lose your mind and act a fool. And I've done it. So, I'm not saying that man didn't have the right to act a fool. But, oh, for some dollar bills and the machine, and the machine, like the machine. <laughs> It ain't a human, so... I mean, I'd be glad to take $5. Right. $5, $5. And That's right, man. <laughs> I'd be tickled to have $5. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Um, we have a few tomatoes, guys. Yep, I will be probably freezing them or something because I'm not canning them. It's too hot to be trying to can some shit right now. So they're probably gonna get frozen. All right, y'all, there's no way we're gonna eat these tomatoes. As you can see, we still, I mean, new coming off every day. So I'm about to wash and dice and put these in freezer bags and freeze them for later. All right, and here we go. I dread this, I don't like this part of it. I mean, I love having fresh, you know, garden tomatoes, but I do not like messing with them like this, but whatever. All right, y'all, we got 15 quarts of diced up tomatoes, and we still have that much. We left out some to eat, uh, because you know, we like to eat them. We're gonna have BLTs for supper tonight, but uh, yeah, 15 quarts for the freezer. Summertime in Texas. All right, that's Clay's Fruit Pizza. We just baked this one for fun because we uh, wanted something sweet to eat, so yeah. <laughs> 